We put these mirrors up and several more in this room when our daughter was teaching ballet. And those days are gone, so we're changing this room into a family room here in the basement, and we need to remove these mirrors. So Jeremy's cleaning them off really well so we don't have any dust um, sticking to it. So this is the mirror that we're taking down and Jeremy is wiping it down because it's pretty dusty. We'll be putting some carpet shield over top of it and we want the carpet shield to stick really well. We picked this carpet shield self-adhesive film up at our local hardware store, not too expensive, and we're going to do two layers of it for added safety. This part of the project is really quite easy. We're just making sure that the air bubbles get out so that every bit of the film is sticking to the mirror. Jeremy is really smoothing it down well because we, like I said, want this mirror to stick to this will be smashing this. <clears throat> there are two pieces here. It's really difficult to find someone to take a large mirror like this. If they do, they're just going to smash it more likely and recycle it. So we're going to do the work for them. Um, this mirror over here also has a crack in it. So they're coming down. All right, so we're putting on layer number two. What we've seen, it helps a lot for safety and to keep these pieces from falling apart. So we put these mirrors up and we put a lot of glue down. We knew that our daughter who um, danced, she was a ballerina for many years, um, was going to be down here using this area as her little studio and we just want it to be extra safe. So with that in mind, um, if anybody's wondering, this is why we're not even going to bother to take this down in one piece. We're just gonna smash it. Um, it's not gonna come out in one piece. For added support, <laughs> for added support we also put these little clips in. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of them. So we have to take these out before we start smashing. to hammer. Are you ready to hammer? Are we trying to pry at all? Not trying to pry it? Okay, we're about to begin the smash. Oh gosh. That's really loud. We need earplugs. <laughs> it's really loud. Oh God, it's not smashing. I feel bad for it. We ended up taking wooden shimmies and putting them between the wall and the mirror and it naturally gave a bit and started to crack so we were off to a good start smashing the rest. That was... All right, let's do it careful. Oh, there it is. Oh, good. There we go. Oh, there we go. After we had smashed to a point where we thought it was good enough, Jeremy took a knife and cut the film um, so that it could come off the mirror in pieces.
Ready? Mm -hmm. Doesn't appear ready. Here's the wall minus the mirror. There is some damage, but we're paneling the whole wall anyways, like the rest of the room. Glad we tried this project. Uh, was a little intimidating at first, but very doable.